Hi, let's make a factorial. Uh, let's make a program that can calculate a factorial of a number in just five minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna assume is that you know how to use uh, components. In this case, I'm using C sharp, and I'm using um, Visual C sharp uh, with Visual Studio. And um, so yeah, the first thing is that. Uh, I'll explain it briefly. Uh, we say to a user, select a value from 1 to 100, okay? Let's make it 10. So we say to a, to a user, select a value from 1 to 100. Um, let's make the minimum value into 1, from 1 to 100, and then calculate the factorial, and then we'll give the value, I mean, we'll give the user the output here. So now let's calculate the factorial. This is already simple. Um, int factorial is equal to 1. I'll tell you why it's a 1 for int x is equal to 0. x is less than, uh, let me get the name of this um, component here. Uh, the name of the component, okay, we call it a spin factor. Okay, um, on click spin factor dot value x plus plus. Okay, um, trying to be brief here. Uh, factorial times x plus one, and then here we can give the final output of how it's going to look. Uh, what's the final output? The output here is oh, the name of this thing is text factorial. Okay, um, text factorial. This text is equals to two string. So then that's fine. Okay, should I really explain here? Okay, I think we have some time. We did all of this in less than a minute, I think. Okay, so the first thing is that the factorial will be equal to will be made into a one. The reason why is because we understand that to calculate a factorial, or rather a factorial is okay, let me just say this is a factorial. One if the user enters the value five. Now let's say if the user enters the value 3, we'll, we'll have something that looks like this. We'll have 1 times 2 times 3. So which means we need to have 3 loops. And each time that we loop, we need to calculate, we need to multiply the factorial with the value. I mean, yeah, we need to multiply the factorial with the thing. Yeah. And then that's how we're going to get the factorial. <laughs> Okay, there's two, there's so many, and there's another video that I made, it's a longer version of this, and I go through all the explanation of it. Uh, watch it, it's a bit long, but I explain more things, and it's filled with more information. But then there's a quick video that I just posted here. It shouldn't be that easy, um, but then, yeah, it should be okay. Okay, yeah, I think, I think, I think we'll, we'll finish here for now. And, oh, let's try, let's try, let's run it and see if it works. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Waiting, waiting, we waiting, we waiting. All right, so let's see. The factorial of one is one, the factorial of two is two, the factorial of three is six, the factorial of four is 24. So we can test it here. Um, okay, I can't edit this before. Okay, so we can edit it here and see, because we understand that uh, if the user enters the word 3, we should have 1 times 2 times 3, which 1 times 2 times 3 is, let's I have a calculator next to me, 1 times 2 times 3 is really 6, uh, which is fine. So yeah, um, if the user enters, uh, what's this, the value 4, we should have something like 1 times 2 times 3, eight, eight. A, A1 times 3 times 4, which is equal to 2, which is equal to 2, which is equal to 24. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we'll end it here. We're about to end the five minutes, so yeah, cheers. Uh, there's another longer video where I explain everything. Check that out on, on my. Facebook channel. Bye.